Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. It's February, and you know what that means. We're at Spring Fair 2024. So what's hot this year? What's on trend this year? What have the manufacturers got that's new this year? Let's go and find out. Come on. So here we are on the Gemma stand and we're joined by Gloria, who we've all met before. Gloria, hello. Hello, how are you, Greg? I'm all right, thanks. How are you doing? Good, good. So, Gemma, big stand here at Spring Fair. How's it going? Going great so far. We're very happy. There's been a very warm welcome and uh, people are loving the new colors and yeah. the new trends that we're presenting. Yeah, so what are the new colors? We have Vino, Shell and uh, Navy. So okay. it's uh, three wonderful shades that work uh, well together, but they're also uh, individual must-haves. Very impressive. This looks a bit different. And you've got a name for this, haven't you? Yes. What so, is it? We call this uh, fusion. Okay. It's a fusion between uh, classic techniques that have been around uh, forever and uh, the new organic style that is, is, is more trending at the moment. Yeah. yeah, so we've got the classic would be the wall, I guess. Yes. And then this amazing tree is tree. organic. So you see a mix of organic and then uh, traditional techniques. So for Gemma, for 2024, What's, what's big? What's going to happen? What are you doing? What are you focusing on? We're focusing on education. We're focusing on product. And uh, we're focusing on making sure that uh, we can uh, align what is uh, the older techniques with the, with the newer trends okay. and trying to create a new concept. Okay, all right. And any trend predictions for 2024? <laughs> Yes, so oh, okay. uh, we, uh, we, we continue with the, with the colors and uh, so we do, we do foresee that uh, the, the shell is, uh, is an amazing uh, new color that blends itself well with bold colors mm -hmm. and also with uh, more uh, nude and natural tones. The navy is, is the new black. Yeah, okay. And we also continue to experiment with the neon because the disco, the disco motive is also very, very popular at the okay. moment. So we've completed the, the professional range to include a five inch in a 19 inch and uh, we want to experiment also with a little bit of printed latex and then another important trend uh, that we want to highlight is the uh, the line of 100 percent fsc balloons that we continue to promote mm -hmm. and this year that we're presenting in a in a plastic free uh package oh fantastic okay well thank you so much thank i hope the for rest by. the next couple of days works really well for you as well and yes. I'll, I'll see you around thank you okay. for coming by yeah. So we're still on the Gemma stand, but we've come round the corner and we've bumped into these two. What's your name again? Sorry. Bex <laughs> and Gurgo. Hello. How's it? Hello. Don't look at me like that. How's it going? You've got to remember to do the I mic. I know, it's awkward, isn't it? It is a bit awkward. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You still you put oh. it down and then you said it's a bit awkward. Yeah. So you've got to have it quite okay. close. Anyway, maybe Gurgo would be better at talking. No? Really? Say hello. Anyway, I yeah, just wanted to... Yeah, actually we are a bit uh, busy and tired. We do a lot of demonstration during every day, like four times per day. Okay. It's a really, really busy day. Four times a day each? No, not each. So it's not in, that hard entitled. really, is it? <laughs> I just want it to sound like it's hard. <laughs> why do you want it to sound like it's I'm hard? sorry, I don't know why I give you guys a hard time. It's long days. But, anyway. no, but actually, yeah, with the preparation time, with everything. I did see a post of you um, running around in a giraffe. Was it you inside the giraffe or was it somebody else? One time, yes. So how have you found it? How have you found the people that are here? Are there, is there a lot of interest in Gemma? Yeah, it's been really busy on the Gemma stand. Today's quieter, but it always is Tuesday and Wednesday, isn't it? But Sunday and Monday, it was heaving. Yeah. It was so busy, which is really good. And you two are both big fans of Gemma. We Clearly, are. you're here on the Gemma stand. Just remind everybody what it is you like about the brand. I'm a balloon twister and I use a lot of balloons in, and round balloons as well. So what I just did a demonstration on, I like the really long neck of the round balloons okay. because I use for legs, for little shapes, shoulders. Actually, I did a huge Greek statue on the other side of the stand. So I used for the shoulders, for the muscles. So I, that, that's my favorite little okay. detail. Amazing. That, that was a really good answer, wasn't it, Bags? What that was you? a really good answer. I like the colors okay. and the necks as well, because for organics, I tie neck to neck. So that makes my job a lot easier, having long necks. I asked Gloria earlier on what her favorite color was. Yeah. Do you know what she said? What did she say? I'm, I'm asking you, do you know what she no, said? No, I didn't know. Okay, what is your favorite color? Vino. Vino. Yeah. Oh, you got it wrong. 
What, what did what did Gloria say? Hers is. Yeah. Oh, I'm using okay. navy today. Are you? Yeah. And you like navy? I love navy. There's yeah. nothing wrong with you. No, I'm. I, Fino is Just like a burgundy. I know you are, but <laughs> standard. standard. Sorry, everybody. This is the relationship we have. <laughs> Um, it's difficult. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you, you like Pino, yeah. it's navy. What about you? What's your favourite colour? My favourite colour? Uh, turkeys. And aquamarine. No, aqu aquamarine. 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 Yeah. Cool. 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 Yeah. Alright guys, I'd love to stay in chat. I'm not going to. No. Nice talking to you both. Yeah. Thank you. So we're here on the Unique stand and we're joined by Holly. Holly, hello. Hi, hello. So what is it you do here at Unique? So I look after our UK major business, so the major grocers, and I'm also working with the new product development team. Okay, yeah. cool. So you're going to tell us a little bit about what's new in 2024. So what is new in 2024? So we've launched our new Tough Text brand, which okay. everyone's well aware of. Yeah. Um, we've also done a nice glitz refresh, brightens up some of the colours, and we've also launched a whole new range of balloons and foil banners. So this is the glitz refresh behind us? Yes, yep. Yeah. So we've refreshed the black, the pink, and the blue. Okay. Um, we've brought in a slightly darker blue, so it's more navy, a little bit more on trend. Okay. Uh, brightens up a little pink a bit, so it's more leaning towards the older group, which you want it to do, and we've added the nice gold into the black. Okay, yeah. cool. And the new products you're talking about, what are they? So they're our new foil balloons and banners. Mm -hmm. um, they're a whole new range of key celebrations, including milestones for parents, auntie, uncle, um, oh, brother, right, sister, which also some of them link back to our glitz range, so your customers can mix and match. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Now let's go back to Tough Tex. Okay. Obviously, Tough Tex now, as the main distributor, we buy from you. You and, do, yeah. And, and sell that on to, to our lovely customers. Yeah. Tough Tex, you are, you've, you've not got the whole range in just yet, but no. how are you doing with that? So we're currently, I believe, between 90 to 95% in stock, um, and it's changing monthly. You'll probably see that we even do a weekly update uh, email blast to kind of give our customers uh, an up-to-date um, availability report as well. So. Fantastic. Yeah. So one last question. Yeah. What do you think the trends of 2024 are going to be? So I believe the trends are still going to be heavily focused on the organic displays with the likes of Tuftex and the other leading brands. Um, I think helium has still got a place in the market. People still love the foil balloon designs. Yep. Um, and just your stronger tableware with the more European on-trend patterns. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Holly, yep. thank you very much. Thank you. Here I am on the Tough Tech stand, and as you can see, I've created all of this myself. I've done this, I've done this heart, that was really hard, and I've, I've yeah. Hi, Anne Harrod. He's not done any of it. How's it going? I'm tired because I've done all of these balloons. Is this the right way around? This feels wrong. This feels no, wrong. This, this, this oh, definitely man. wrong. Where are we going? Where are we going? Oh, that's better. That's, better. that's far better. That's, that was when we did the Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. You're clearly tough text today, aren't I you? I am clearly tough text. Tough, tough text, and you've you have. It's not really me, everybody. Believe it or not, oh. that has done this. No. It's, it's, how's it been? Spring it's fair? been good. Yeah, it's been very, very busy. A lot of interest in the stand because we've just been doing demos from the stand. Okay. So we've created the unique um, oh, stand. See, so yeah. that's all oh, tough text balloons. Yeah, so yeah. this is the demo booth. I see. Where we're just constantly doing demos, constantly chatting to people tips, tricks, and yeah, all, all with a smile. Yeah, that's brilliant. Smile. So what are you liking about Tough Text Balloons? I know you've used Tough Text Balloons on BMTV and yes. stuff. But just remind everybody again what you like about Tough Text Balloons. Opacity, strength. Opacity means how clear it is. Yes. So, or not um, clear it is. Not clear it is. Strength, how vibrant the colours are. Yeah. And the foils now as well, which are behind you. So, oh yes. They're Tough Text Foils. And they're the ones that are one colour on one yeah, side, one colour on the other. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. So, what's coming for Tough Tex in 2024? Oh, what is coming for Tough Tex? Uh, there's, there's a few things happening over the summer, but I you can neither confirm nor deny. Brilliant. Um, and then I can neither confirm nor deny new colours. What is the point of you being here? <laughs> if you can't tell me that, why am I asking that question? Oh, Just a lot. Uh, okay, a lot's going to happen this year. Gonna, and uh, yeah. I've got another question for you. Mm -hmm. What are your predictions for 2024? What are the trends of 2024 going to be? I think more classic decor. Oh, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I am a big advocate of one. I want to see more classic, but classic with a twist. Classic okay. with a twist. 
God, I've got, I've got some few idea, a few ideas that I want to execute in my unit um, as little concepts, but classics, I think. Yeah. I'm Harry. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So, Kerry from Calisan. Greg, how, how are, are you? you? I'm, I'm supposed to ask the question. Sorry. How are you? <laughs> I'm really well, thank you. Good. I'm really well. Nice well, to be back in, at Spring Fair. Yeah, yeah. And this stand, this Calisan stand, quite interesting, isn't it? Oh, they've done a fantastic job. Anyway, show, <laughs> show me some products. Just yeah. show me around. So let's see what's what. Okay, so will I show you some of the different um, techniques we've used first? Sure. And then I'll take you around and I'll show you the new colours. Sounds perfect. Perfect. So this is the mosaic, um, which oh, yeah. we designed by Lisa, Looney Bloom. Yeah. And with this, we showcased our printed blooms. They look good. Um, because I think they're one of those products, when you see them on the website, you don't realize how good they are. Yeah, they're really, really good. And I think in organics or classic, they just give that extra little pop. Yeah. We've got the distortion here, which Kirsten created for us. It's just incredible, oh. isn't it? It's amazing, and so many people have thought these were the flowers were actually plastic because we've high shined them. Yeah. And for example, this one over here is a month old. Wow. So we're shining it; it still looks like it was done a day ago. That's so, amazing. And then the exciting stuff. Okay, let's do it. We brought out seven new colours. Seven. Seven new colours. Okay, what are they? Listen. So um, what we did is a lot of people are double stuffing with white now to get a real pale range of macron. So now we have, we did have the Macron Baby Blue, but we've now brought out the rest of the Macron Pearl range. So we've got Macron Pearl Yellow, Salmon, Pink, Lilac, and Green. So they're around the stand, and that's to save double stuffing. We've also brought out another brand new product. So we looked at modeling boons, and we originally had 260s, which a lot of people were using for tying. Mm -hmm. So then we spoke to a few um, entertainers, asked what we were missing and wanted to do something to them. So we've now brought out these Calisan packs. So we are now doing 160s, 260s and 350s. Okay. These are nozzle up. So everyone has the nozzle the right way. Yeah. So for an entertainer, perfect. You, you can whip it, up, put it, stick in your bag. bag. Yeah. But also for the artists that are maybe starting a little bit of twisting in their designs and don't want to buy loads of 100 count. These are a perfect starter for yeah. you. Well, Kerry, it's nice to see you nice out and about you. on the stand. Yes, it's um, nice. Nice to, to be chatting to you again. So thank you so much for that. And um, yeah, see you around the show. Thank you for having me. I won't leave it so long next time. Thank you. <laughs>We are joined by the event king himself, Jesus. Hello. Hi, how you doing, Mr. Grant? I'm good. It's really nice to meet you. Nice I've seen you your too. stuff online. It's amazing. Thank so you, it's man. lovely Thank to. You. Uh, and first of all, this is amazing. Thank this you. is this is this is great. I have to ask about Calisan balloons because we're on the Calisan stand. Yeah. So tell me about what you think about Calisan balloons. Why you like Calisan balloons? So I ran into them in a little uh, shop in, in the US uh, while I was working. Or, or I was trying to find some, some balloons and more inspiration. And I ran into them, and since I tried them, man, it's, it, you can tell the quality is different. Uh, uh, I had so many problems before, especially for outdoor installations, and the quality that Callison uh, provided, it was, it was, it was different. Yeah. And, and since then, and I like how innovator they, innovators they are. They yeah. keep coming up with new colors. It's just incredible. I fell in love with them. And then meeting them and how they've been treating me, they treat me like as a family. So it's been incredible yeah. just to meet my heroes. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, when people say don't ever meet your heroes, well, with Callison, it was, it's completely different. They're, they're good they're guys. Yeah. Good, good, good guys. So yeah. I, I, I truly tell everybody they're the number one in the world and I hope they keep growing. And, I hope I keep uh, being around them for it's just, a long time. I could carry on talking to you for hours. I, know, man, I, I just, I I just feel we could have a good conversation, <laughs> yeah. but we do have to go on. Yeah, I, I know, I know. It was nice meeting you, But Nice meeting you, and thank you very yeah. much for no that. No problem. Thank you. So here we are on the Bapia stand with our BMTV regular, John. John, Hi, hello. Ray. Hiya, how are you doing? I'm all right, thanks. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing. Yeah. Absolutely buzzing. It's been a good fair for you then? It's been a very good fair. So, Bapia, this year, 2024, <sighs> what have you got planned? Um, we're working on a few things actually, um, which are really quite exciting for us. Okay. We're very happy with them. 
Um, again, we're looking at, you know, back at the back end of the year, we'll be doing Gosh again. Yep. Um, I see you've got your Gosh jumper on there, Greg. It's a <laughs> Thanks for pointing that out. So I was wearing the same jumper at Gosh. Yes. I'm sure you've got more than one, but yes. Yeah, so it's. Um... Uh, yeah, I do actually. Yeah, yeah. Still navy, but different styles. <laughs> but thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so gosh, again later in the year, and you know, as you know, it was last year's was the best we've ever had, and it was amazing. And um, we've got a whole new thing coming up to, again towards the back end of the year. Um, no information at the minute, but uh, you have to keep your eyes open. We'll yeah, let you know okay. when it happens. All right. Okay. Um, so yeah, and just bits and pieces as it goes through the year that we'll uh, we'll be releasing and launching. Exciting. Um, so yeah, it is. It's it's a it's a great year for us. We're really really looking forward to it. Well, I've got a question for you. I've been asking a few people. What, what do you think the trends of 2024 are going to be? Well, if you look around here, it's going to be trees, I think. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, a few people have said that. There's <laughs> yeah. trees on every stand. Yeah. Yes, and there, there was no communication with any of us. As far yeah, as I'm aware. that's hilarious. But the trends for the year? I don't know. Cool. Um, I, th I think maybe a, a sort of slight change in what people are doing. I mean, we're seeing you know, the organic, but I, I think we're seeing a bit more kind of classic decor creeping in. You're not the first to say that. Yeah. So classic uh, so, with, with yeah, organic as yeah, well. Which so. is something I, I've actually felt will happen. And I've said it a few times over the past, probably the past year or 18 months, and it yeah. will gradually move in that direction. Yeah. And I think we're starting to see that, yeah. um, which is good. And I, I think also diversification um, with, uh, with people in the industry. So we're, not stepping away from balloons, but adding other things onto it, such yeah. as such as a bit of twisting, a, a bit of face painting, yeah, yeah. Um, soft play, which again is promising. It's good to see growth. It's good to see diversification and um, and changing direction. So yeah, long yeah. may it last. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's okay. where I think it will go. I look forward to being able to say, John, you're absolutely right. Next year, fingers crossed. Yes, yeah. indeed. So here we are on the newest balloon brand stand in the world. Is that right? It is really. Yeah, isn't I, it? I would thought so. Yeah, yeah. Sounds, we launched newest what? balloon brand in the world. Eight, some would say eight years ago or something launch. What? Some would say the best. I mean, that's some. Well, us. we don't know yet, do we? <laughs> it was us. We said yeah, okay. it. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're joined by Keith and Dom, <coughs> and these guys are part of. Well, you can see on their t-shirts the newest balloon Prima. brand is called Prima. So tell me a little bit about Prima. Premium Conwin, the relationship, all of that. Okay, yeah, so um, we've actually been demonstrating with Premium Conwin for the last 14 years with the, showing their different equipment, inflating equipment and everything. Um, and, but this is a brand new balloon brand. It's latex, it's foil, and it's spheres. Okay. All of the feedback that we've had so far has been exceptional. Um, we've had different people trying them out, I mean, even here at the Spring Fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, and somebody was trying them out and trying to take them to the breaking point and everything. And then it was like, I, I didn't expect to be as impressed as I am with yeah. that balloon. Yeah, they yeah. Were, so it was, it's been really good. So Very what are the specific things you guys like about the balloons? Because you've obviously worked for balloon, with balloons for years. Yeah, yeah. colours are a big one for us. So that's hit, hitting the ground running with colours that we can use now, yeah. which is fantastic. Uh, also the quality and consistency of that colour has been great. The neck, as Keith already said. Yeah, I mean, the, going back to the colour side, putting it across there. So when we're inflating with a, a five inch, an 11 inch, a 16 inch and 260 and putting it across there, you can see they're absolutely spot oh, on with the color way. Yeah, so, and also they've taken those colors from the latex and actually applied them to the foils and the spheres again. So it matches across the Fantastic. range. Now, one thing I've got to ask you. Go for it. These are made in China. Yes. Chinese, Ooh, the China thing. Chinese balloons. They don't have a great reputation. Yes, they don't. Mainly because of Amazon. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So convince me that these Chinese manufactured balloons are, what the, well, how are they going to be I think different? It, I think it's dead easy really on that one, yeah. I think it is. We've had this conversation a few times and the one we like into the, the most is, in my pocket, as is most other people's pockets, is a phone. And that is either a high-end Android or an iPhone, which is, designed and quality controlled and oversight all done from a you know an american american company but it is manufactured in a asian chinese factory with complete oversight and quality control handled by the americans so, so is that going to be the case here then? absolutely that is the case that is the case now a general question about yes. the industry okay what are the trends of 2024 what are we going to see well prima latex you are going course. to see a lot of prima latex um what you also want to see as well is um from prima is these new the glitter bubbles so our spheres so it yeah. means that the actually comes with the glitter already inside i don't believe it 
It's true. I don't believe it. It is absolutely it's true. There's a trick. What we're going to do is we're going to do, we'll give you some back. You're going to inflate them. You can see. And what it is is that there's, there's a glitter inside. All you need to do is inflate it, shake it. It's done. All right. Guys, stop talking. Okay. Thank you so we'll much. We'll do it now. It's been a joy. I'll see you soon. Always. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. So here we are, we're on the Grabo stand with Jonathan. Jonathan, hello, long time no see. Hello, Greg, hello. Long it's been about time. a year, hasn't it? So it's been a year. Since, been... Since, since here, so how are things? Things are marvelous, thank you. It's been a, a tremendous year, a roller coaster year, and we're expecting the next year to be even more challenging. Yeah, so what's new for Grabo in 2024? So what's new for Grabo? So the, obviously the, the, the cornerstone of our innovation has been the recycled material. That okay. we're bringing on to all of our solid color. Sorry, all all on all of our 18-inch balloons. So from solid colors to two sides in every effect. That means that 90% of a layer of the material that goes into the production of the balloon is coming from recycled material. Okay. Okay. When I say a layer of the balloon, it is because the balloon is made out of multiple layers. Mm -hmm. So in all in all and all together, uh, this accounts for. 45%. So 45% of this balloon comes from recycled material. Wow. So what about products? What products have you got coming out in 2024? Well, for 2024, we decided obviously to uh, bring out another shade okay. of, um, uh, of colors when it comes down to numbers. You know, we're still the number one supplier and producer of numbers worldwide, and we're very proud of that. This year, we went for a lilac color. We've been asked for this lilac color for quite some time. Yeah. And finally, we managed to achieve the right exact color. And I'm pretty sure that it's going gonna, it's gonna to do well into the market. And it's been very well received uh, at Spring Fair. Alongside with that, we have the under the water theme that's, that's doing very well. We yeah. have the rainbow, we have the dolphin, and we always look for new things in how to help you know, professionals and decorators improve their their game and uh, you know we're very sensitive to the price of healing that's rising yeah. on a continuous basis so uh, what we did now is that we brought out a new uh, size a new uh, size of uh, our solid color we're simply testing it right now but it's a 31 inch and uh, we're bringing out in obviously red red heart and to test the water a nice round white that you can write on do okay. vinyl on they work perfectly as you know the top of a column yeah. that obviously that's air filled too but the size is is just right one last question what are the trends going to be for 2024 what do you think i don't think there's going to be one huge trend but caring for every single little detail is going to be the new thing in my opinion okay. because because that's what it is we need to find in a, in a world that's becoming more and more it right it's becoming ai is becoming it's becoming like the core of everything yeah. we need to remember to remain human. That's our theme maybe for 2024. Okay, remain yeah. human. Nice, deep. Jonathan, thank you so much. Thank you, Greg. Thank you for dropping by. So here we are on the Navas stand and we're joined by Karen. Karen, hello. Hi. How good to you? meet you. I'm nice good, thank you. Nice to meet you as well. Two conversations going on at the same time. <laughs> anyway, um, thank you for talking to us. No, how, thank you. How has the fair been it's so far been for you? great, actually. Yes, we've managed to talk to lots of balloonies who have just, a lot of them starting off, so trying yep. to give them a bit of direction how we can work together. Uh, talking to our old role members, because we've got, I mean, some very old, like me, been there 28 <laughs> years. So. I was obviously two when I started, but oh, anyway, clearly, clearly, another yeah. message. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're trying to involve everybody, make you know, try and make a bit of a community feel really with yeah. Navas, so that to support each other, work together. We're developing a lot more events for the members. Okay. So we do our lunch and learn, which we head up every Monday at twelve. When we get someone from the business sector, so it could be TikTok, LinkedIn, or. Um, We've got a cyber security guy coming in because one of our members was hacked on Facebook. Oh, really? So trying oh, wow. to look okay. at, you know, different That's things. Because there's obviously more to running a balloon business than just inflating balloons, indeed, as we know. Indeed, indeed. Um, and then things like the uh, online convention, we're trying to promote that. So trying to give members something, things stay at home, and then just, you know, do some training online, yeah, yeah. Which, which works really well. Um, so, yeah, and then, of course, we've got our very exciting pie, pie. coming up. What does pie so, stand for? 
party industry event. Da, da, da. There we are. It's nothing to do with the fruit pie no, no, or the meat fruit. and potato Stain pie. Steak kidney. What's your favourite pie? Well, I am Yorkshire, so it has to be you know, up there. Steak, steak pie, steak I think, pie. I think steak has pie. to be, doesn't it? What's new for Navas in 2024? Well, we, as I say, we're developing lots more things for our members. We're also trying to develop our WhatsApp groups around the country. We have uh, little groups, like we have a little Yorkshire group that uh, I'm involved with. Panya's involved with the London group. Okay. So what we're trying to do is create a bit of a community. So my little group might be something, you know, the M1 is a nightmare, don't go near it. It might be, what colour balloon do we think this okay, is? Nice, or nice. someone wants an Alice in Wonderland theme. So just supporting each other in yeah. a local local area yeah. sort of thing. Because really I think nice. it's only balloonies understand really what's involved with this business. Yeah, and, yeah. you know, we do work long hours and sociable hours and sometimes it's really hard and yeah. you need someone to say, it's all right, we've all been there and, you know, yeah. keep going Absolutely. or whatever, isn't it? Lunch and learn is our big thing. First Monday of every month. First Monday of every month, 12 everybody. 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, we have an industry speaker, 12 to half 12. Any questions? And if people can't watch it, it's on our members area. So Perfect. they can catch up with that because, you know, trying to keep ahead of things like we've had someone on for Google and Facebook. Right. We've got the accredited trainers for Facebook. It's such a changing market that we just can't keep up to date with. Very so hard, we need hard. some experts on that. Another question I've got for you, trends. What are the trends for 2024 going to be, do you think? Ooh. I think organic is still going to be in there okay. quite a lot, isn't it? We're still doing a lot of organic, developing it. Um, colours, I guess there's lots more colours out there. The Navy's obviously coming in quite a lot, isn't it? We're doing, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm doing a lot of Navy. Karen, thank you so much for talking to us. So here we are, we're on the Hootie Baloo stand and we're joined by Lauren. Lauren, hello. Hello, Thank lovely you. to see you. Nice to see you as well. <laughs> Thanks for talking to us. So Hootie Baloo, relatively new um, supplier to us. Uh, I think it's been a few years now, but I'm really excited to be on the stand for the oh, first good. time. So thank you like, for talking to us. Um, what I'd like to know is what what is exciting and new for 2024 from Hootie Balloon? Everything this year is predominantly sort of more wedding, anniversary, lots of theme parties. So we've um, got our amazing new Aloha Tiki range, which is very right, sort cool. of fun and vibrant. Mother's Day, Father's Day, and um, so lots of sort of new sort of funky ranges out there. Yeah, what have you got a favourite product? Uh, so my favourite is probably the uh, Tiki range, just very like summery, very vibrant. Um, I think we're all sort of ready for the sort of summer season to sort of Always begin again. Always at this time so. of year, absolutely. <laughs> so I think that's probably my favourite. Yeah. And, and I've got a question I've been asking everybody. What do you think the trends for 2024 are going to be? And um, so trends, I think, in weddings. So it's going to be lots of gold, lots of sim simple sort of styles, very sort of classy ranges. Um, so I think the sort of simplicity, um, but in terms of sort of kids party, it's always going to be sort of very fun and vibrant. So um, yeah, it's lots of sort of new and exciting stuff coming up. Okay, cool. Well, Lauren, thank you so much. For thank you so much. <laughs> We are, we are on the Sensation Stand and we're joined by Addy. Hello, Addy. How are Hello, you? Greg. And welcome yeah. to BMTV for the first time. Oh, so, thank you so much. Your first time on here. Well, yeah. um, thank you for talking to us. I just really want to talk to you and find out a little bit about what's going on with Sensations. What's 2024 going to bring? Oh, 2024. We expect 2024 to bring something uh, very exciting. Okay. Uh, we've just uh, successfully launched a uh, a party land range, okay. you know, which is a concept that uh, includes 18-inch uh, balloons, uh, banners, badges, mm -hmm. uh, football, yeah. and uh, matching candles. Okay. And uh, the unique thing about our range is that um, you know everything you know will make them need to match. Yeah, yeah. You know, so people are really liking that. Okay. And new products for 2024 above and beyond these. Uh, above and beyond this, you know, we are making very good inroad in the uh, foil balloon areas. Okay. And because of that, people are now asking for us to move to the next stage, which is the stage where we can produce our own uh, latex balloons. Okay. And uh, we're looking to produce a new range of latex balloons that is called that is under the party land range. Mm -hmm. That will be the retail side of what we do. Okay. And uh, we're looking to produce uh, latex balloons that will be uh, under the uh, that will be for the decorators. Uh, that will be uh, 
I'll keep the name for now. Okay, all right. <laughs> Watch this space. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So what do you think the trends are going to be for 2024? Have you got any idea what they might be? I think the decorators, you know, maybe know more about that side. Okay. So well. I'll leave that to the experts for oh, now. Oh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> you got to give me something. Okay, uh, I would say, um, you know, uh, with regards to trend, um, yeah, I don't want to put my foot into that Okay, one. all right. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you get away with it. I'll okay, you thank you. Anyway, Ali, nice to meet you. Nice and you to too, chat Jack. to you. No Thanks worries. very much. Yeah, thank you so much. We are, we're on the Qualitex stand and we're joined by Julie. Julie, hello. Hello. Long time no see, about a year, I'd say. I believe so. Hey. So, how's it been at the fair this year? It's been fab. Yeah, we've had a really good few days so far. Yeah. Been really busy. We've seen lots of customers, old and new. Um, Very good. Really nice to see some familiar faces and then really nice to meet some very new people too. Good, good. Well, 2024, new products. What have we got to look forward to? Well, lots of new designs, hopefully on the way. We've got a fantastic response to our new chartreuse, chartreuse. colour. And we've got some lovely little sample postcards oh, in very nice. just to show off that lovely. with a blue colour palette, but it works really well with lots of others. Yeah. We've got some beautiful new printed latex colour mixes uh, and some new designs, and okay. customers have been looking at those. And distorted flowers seem really popular, so we've been okay. running some really nice demos. Julie Dunham and Lucy Hennessy yeah. have yeah. been demoing on stand, and they also did the beautiful decor here today. Okay, so that was going to be my next question. What do you think the trends for 2024 are going to be? I think flowers are on the up. I think we're seeing a lot of flowers being used in things, but we're also seeing flowers uh, in design. Mm -hmm. So we've got some new um, poppy foils and poppy okay. printed latex, and that, that's been really well received from customers. We're seeing lots uh, more floral stuff generally. Yeah. And still getting people talk to us about, oh, a bubble, that's new. And how does a deco bubble work? Which really? It's quite wow. amazing because yeah, they've been around for quite a few they years. Have been, but though, yeah. Lots of interest in those. So again, we'll probably talk to you about coming down and do some more deco bubble masterclasses Fantastic. with you. Yeah. That would so be great. are you going to focus on education a bit more this year as well? Yeah. Or we'll continue to focus on education? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it's all about getting out with people and teaching people new and exciting ways to teach the product. Okay. So keep an eye out for any training courses that you announce. Indeed. Julie, thank you so much. Lovely. So there you go, Spring Fair 2024 done. Thank you to everybody that we talked to. Thank you for everybody's insights and what the trends are gonna be. If you would like to tell us what you think the trends are gonna be, please comment down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. You'll be notified every time we upload a new show. From all of us here at Spring Fair, see you next week. Bye.